Hello friends, myself Pratik. In this session, we are going to discuss preconditions and postconditions of functions in Python. We called this concept as defensive programming. Let us start this session. A precondition for a function is something that must be true when the function is called. So the preconditions are important prerequisite for the function to behave correctly. And when preconditions are achieved, then the function will perform its task as required. The post condition statement indicate what will be true when the function finishes its work. The point here is that for every function, there are certain preconditions that as a programmer, we wish that it should always be true in order to function behave correctly. Otherwise, the function can behave in an abnormal way. For example, in preconditions, we talk about what range of values that make sense for the function or the problem to work properly or what type of input data is allowed for the function or the program. So in precondition, we normally talk about the range of values that make a sense for the function. Precondition can be based on the allowed input data type because this is very important factor for the function to behave correctly. If we don't provide input data in proper format and in proper range, then the function may behave inappropriately and the output can make no sense. So the thinking about these issues proactively in advance is called as defensive programming. So in defensive programming, we define and implement preconditions that are required for our function to perform properly. Once these preconditions are achieved, then our function should guarantee post condition. It simply state that what will be true when function finishes its work. In order to understand this concept further, let us consider this example here. Here we have already created a function with name grade remark. This function is taking a grade as input parameter and the function is returning the desirable remark based on the input value of the grade. So let us consider what are the preconditions and post condition for this grade remark function. Let us visit the code of this function again to understand desirable preconditions for this function. So this is the code which we have created for this function grade remark. This is taking grade as input and based on the past value we have created few if conditions that if the grade is greater than or equal to 96 it should return outstanding. For grade greater than or equal to 90 it is returning exceed expectations. For grade greater than or equal to 80 it is returning acceptable else it is returning trollish. Here we are taking the input value of grade in integer and then we are passing this to grade remark function. Now let us execute this function to see its output. Here the input is 87, the output is acceptable. So this function is working perfectly fine. Now let's check what are the preconditions which should be true in order to behave this function properly. So I am now running this function again, but this time my input is minus two. So I want to see what will be the output of my function if the input grade is minus two. You can see that it is still displaying trollish. You can clearly note that this is not the desirable because trollish should only display if the input grade is between one to 79. In my Example, the input grade was minus two, but still it was printing trollish. As you can see here, the input is minus two, but it returning trollish, which is not desirable. Let us check this case. Now this time my input is zero and it is still returning trollish. So trollish should return only if the input is between one to 79. It should not return trollish if the input is zero or if the input is any negative number. So let's suppose if the input is minus 45, it's still returning trollish. Let's check this for one. This is working perfectly fine. So my precondition will be input should be greater than zero. So if my input is zero or if my input is negative, then this is not the desirable output which I want. So my function will behave properly 
if the input is greater than 0. For grade 96 to 100, it should return outstanding. For 100, we are getting outstanding. This is perfectly fine. Now let's now let us run this function for input 101. You can see that the output is still outstanding it, because my condition is if grade is greater than or equal to 96, it should return outstanding. So for input 101, we are getting outstanding, but this is not desirable. Desirable range for outstanding is between 96 and 100. For 101, it should not return outstanding, but my function is returning outstanding in this case. So here my input is 2344, still it is returning outstanding, but this is not the desirable case. Let's check this for input 96. So here it is working perfectly fine. That along with my precondition, input grade should be greater than 0. I have to add one more condition and grade should be less than or equal to 100. In order to get desirable output for grade remark function, my input grade should be greater than 0 and it should be less than or equal to 100. Then only I will get the desirable remark as an output. So this is my precondition. Defensive programming should make it sure that my function should run only if these preconditions are satisfied. If any of this precondition is not satisfied, then my function should return false or appropriate error message, but it should not execute my code. So this is the concept of precondition and defensive programming. Preconditions are the conditions that must be true when the function is called for the function to behave correctly. Otherwise, the function will not behave correctly. And post conditions are those statements that will be true when the function finishes its work. So the post condition will be this. If my precondition that input is greater than 1 and less than or equal to 100, then this function make it sure that you will be getting desirable output as per this table. So I hope you got fair idea about preconditions and post condition. Before closing this session, I want to ask another question. Can you identify any other precondition for this grade remark function? Please take your time and I will be discussing that precondition in our next session. See you in next session. Thanks for watching this video. God bless you. Thank you.